Hey guys, Carly here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about basically over overcoming addictions. Um, and you know, I'm going to be discussing, you know, basically ways that you can avoid addictions and ways to like overcome them in case you have already done that before. And so I hope that these these will help you guys out and, you know, addictions can, you know, can can be between, you know, whether it's drugs, alcohol, um, overeating, um, even pornography, like stuff like that, those are all considered major addictions. Drugs and alcohol are probably the most two common ones, um, you know, with it. And a lot of these tips that I'm going to talk about can also help you with alcohol addiction as well. And, you know, so um, first off, I'm going to start by saying is, you know, we all struggle. We all have things that we do that we're not proud of. And it doesn't mean that you're a horrible person and that, you know, that God's going to hate you. You know, God knows that we're not perfect and we struggle and we deal with things in life. And um, sometimes we do things that we're not, that are not the best decisions, you know. But no matter what happens, you know, in this kind of situation, whether it's like a drug addiction or something, it's so important to always look to God. You know, you were never too far gone for God to rescue you. Um, you know, you'll always be his treasure and he'll always, he'll, he'll always love you no matter what, even if you're away from him. Um, you know, you just always look to God and he will help you with with these addictions and it will help you overcome that. My, you know, my pastor was a former drug addict for years and he, he, you know, he hasn't, he's been sober for like 24 years since he's been saved and, you know, God has forgiven him for that and he will forgive you too as well. As, and you know, and as long as you just make promise to stay away from it. Um, you know, so first thing is, um, you know, sobriety can seem like an impo impossible goal, you know, but honestly, recovery is never too far out of reach. You know, there's always something you can do to help you, to help you recover. It's possible with the right treatment, treatment or the right people. And a lot of times people don't want to be helped and they deny that they have a problem. And a lot of times, when they start to realize they do have a problem, a lot of times it's too late for help, for them to get help. And if you have someone in your life who is struggling with an addiction, whether it's drugs or alcohol or something like that, it's best for you to try to help them as soon as possible, as much as you can, before they go down that road where it's too late and they can't come back from it. And even if they don't want the help, it's just try. To, it's just really good to try to help them anyway because you know just let them know that you're there for them and a lot of times if they know that you're there for them and that they have support then that could help them come away from it too you know it's hard to it's it is hard for them to decide to make a change but the first step in this to overcome addictions is deciding to make a change you have to make a decision to do that and you know you have to make the decision what to say I, I'm not going to do this anymore it's going to destroy my life and I have to make a change so that's really the first step um, you know and the first thing you, you can do is explore treatment options I mean there's so many places out there where you can get help whether it's a rehab center like a hospital um, trauma center like anything like that I mean there's so many places where you can find help and that's really the best thing best way to start to a recovery and another thing is you can reach out for support I mean a lot of times for people it's hard because some people who do do drugs um, or drink they don't have support they don't have any family they don't have friends like people have they have people who've abandoned them so a lot of times it's hard for them to reach out for support and I could understand that but if you don't have that kind of support you can go to like a therapy place or go to like a recovery group and then those people there can support you so you know no matter what you, you'll always have support somewhere even if it's not even if it's not like a close relative and when you have support that really helps you and just knowing that people care for you and want to help you that can help you um seek more help um Honestly, but now, but basically, what I'm going to talk about now is basically healthy ways to cope, and you know, so basically stuff that you can do to try to keep you from 
from doing drugs or from drinking alcohol to try to keep you from these addictions and you know also ways you know and the stuff you can do after you get better like after you like if you have done it and you want to get better it's the stuff you can do after you recover too that you can keep doing to avoid you from relapsing so some healthy ways to cope are basically you know you can exercise you can like take a walk um, you can like you can like do uh, fun leisure activities that stuff for, that stuff that's enjoyable to you um, whether it's like playing a sport or doing um, being out with friends or um, something that I like to do is to sing and I like to write too in my journal you can do stuff like that you can get a new hobby um, you know you can even talk to your pets or play with your pets because honestly your pets are really good support systems too it doesn't have to be a person like my, my my dog is a really good support system for me and like she makes me feel better all the t a lot of times um you could even pamper yourself you can like um you could take a bath like something like that a back like a bath is really relaxing you can really help get some stress relief you can uh, even like drink some tea or something like that like just take care of yourself um or just something as simple as just closing your eyes and just taking deep deep breaths and just letting everything out that will just relax you and you can just think of positive thoughts in your head and think of good things in your life even something as simple as that um stuff that you can do because a lot of times people turn to drugs or alcohol because they're having they suffered some trauma or they're um having um a lot of stress um a loss or something or family issues or losing a job a lot of that stuff can trigger these trigger these things and if you do simple stuff like this this can help you with the, with those issues with the stress with the anxiety with the loss whatever it is you're going through and all this stuff is is proven to be very effective in ways of helping people cope with those hard things instead of turning to drugs um, you know and another thing you could do is avoid triggers and cravings you basically you can avoid friends who use who use drugs and drink because if you're around those kind of people that's going to influence you more and more and it may be hard to do that if you have friends that are like that but sometimes you just have to let go let, let them go because you know and you you'll get you'll make new friends and just rely on God and he'll bring good good friends into your, good Christian friends into your life who won't influence you into that kind of thing. Um, you know, you can avoid bars and clubs. And clubs, that may be hard to do too, but there's no reason you have to go to a bar and a club to have fun. You can do other things to have fun to keep you busy because you're going to come across alcohol in a bar or a club or people doing drugs. So it's really best to avoid those places as much as possible. And another thing, you can get involved in other leisure activities, like I said before. Do other things to keep you busy. And there's so many things you can do. Or you can simply just talk it out with somebody. Get your feelings out. You know, you can get counseling, get therapy, talk to a professional, and that can really help you as well. Um, another, another important thing I'm going to say is don't let relapse keep you down. A lot of times, you know, just don't give up, pretty much. A lot of times people who recover from addictions, they tend to relapse and because they have something else that happens in their life that really, really causes them to go downhill and they can't take it and they want to go back to it. But don't let relapse keep you down. Don't let that happen to you. If, the, if it comes to a point where that happens in your life and you're on relapse and you don't want that to happen, do these other, do the, all these things that I said do, to keep you from going back to it and just get help. And no matter what, it's there's nothing wrong with getting help. There's nothing wrong with you. Many people do it, and there's and it's really an effective way to help you with these with these problems. And you do it. You just do it as long as you need, and until you feel like you don't need it anymore. It's just so important to take care of your health and your body because drugs and alcohol destroy your body, and you can't recover from it. They can kill you. They can destroy a marriage, destroy your life. You can lose a job. It severely damages your brain where you, where you the point where you can't focus on everyday things can't concentrate can't do simple things so if you just really if you look and see all the danger consequences of drugs and alcohol 
and you'll just see how it can destroy a person's life. So I'm just going to tell you, just don't do it. Avoid these kind of addictions as much as possible and just look to good, positive things. Look to things to keep you busy. Look to good friends and family. Look to God. Just pray about it and seek God no matter what because God is your comfort and He's your strength and He will help you. He's the best person to seek in this kind of situation and He will help you from these kind of things and just and he loves you no matter what and he, just seek him with everything you have and that will make it so much easier for this kind of thing and don't be afraid to say no to people and tr if they try to press you into this kind of thing just walk away and God will bring those good people into your life he will just have faith that he will do that so if you're someone who is struggling who has struggled with it in the past this is stuff that you can do or if you're or if you're thinking about it, just think about these ways you can cope with it if you're going through something. Think about these things that I said and try to do them for yourself and they really will work. And if you know someone who's struggling with an addiction, just talk to them. Tell them about these things that they can do and just help them as much as you can. And just always look to God and look to Jesus. And that's just the best way to handle anything. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. You can see all my videos that I do. I hope to do them once a week. So thanks for watching. Bye, guys.